So in this part, we are focusing on modeling uh, a house. Um, if we start with a clean blender, uh, we don't have anything. I already removed the cube in the middle and I'm creating a new cube, very original. So um, starting creating a house, the best way is to have some uh, inspiration image or a blueprint. Uh, I will design something just throughout my what comes in my head uh, but yeah I can uh, recommend something like uh, yeah that you have something to measure it uh, so if you don't have it just follow me and uh, I hope that's not a big deal I'm starting with a rectangle looking object uh, it's not that hard and I'm making a roof making that a bit smaller it's not the roof what we're gonna use but it's just what we have in mind how it's gonna look like just a little bit so oops <laughs> making that no it has a good size um, in our image you can see we have red and yellow uh, and that's what I want to apply on this uh, on this object but before I'm gonna do that you can see there are some very sharp edges and I want to avoid that and by doing that I'm selecting everything Control B and if I move my mouse yeah, something happened but maybe the best thing to do right now is to enable screen cost because then you know what I'm doing way better Control B it's still not there so I have to enable it, make that a bit bigger. So, um, Control B, and now you can see something, and I'm making that very small, and I'm scrolling with my mouse wheel, so we have something like this, and don't overdo it. Something like this is perfect. So we have some nice smooth edges. This is maybe too much, but uh, it should make it a bit, yeah less less smoother but anyway you get an idea so I experiment with that and then uh, you can choose a smooth or flat but I keep it flat um, yeah the next thing is I want to apply the red brick and the yellow and uh, this gray thing is just an ornament it doesn't have any function uh, and it doesn't separate the object it's just there so what I do is I press Ctrl R and I'm sliding this a bit like there and so we have space over here and there and I don't know yeah it should be something like this so we can put some windows over there and down there um, yeah so I'm selecting everything and I'm projecting the UV coordinates on it and I'm not using smart UV projection, then I have all the coordinates, but it's a big mesh to control them and having the same size. Later, I can select these vertices from this side and projecting it with the same. Um, so we have the UV coordinates from this side and I'm splitting this view and I'm going to the UV image editor. You can see them and we want a texture. I want to have this red one so I have some in my library and I'm going to open it it's called office red uh, unique textures it's very unique <laughs> office wall red medium I also have uh, a normal one this is a 4k texture and this is a 2k yeah I always use that one but if I have very close uh, renders I'm using this tile uh, they are tiled so you won't see any duplication I hope so <laughs> I didn't test it um, material so you can see there's a projection so I'm scaling it up something like this and yeah these bricks are still too big so I'm scaling that a bit more and uh, just a little bit more do you think yeah that looks realistic I think this looks okay it's uh, yeah you can see there is duplication 
but in the end you won't see that much I promise so there is something here at the side what we have to enable and I'm selecting that I won't texture that side because we're not going to see it so why should we and um, you project that to the side and we can see that one but we also need the the coordinates from the other side to make them fit um, and now we go to the material so I'm selecting this and this one and we can see our original one projected and that one I'm, I'm scaling that a bit up so it looks like this um, yeah I'm <laughs> still not really matching and the reason for that is that it's still not exactly the same uh, this is a bit better so we have a red brick house but now we want uh, yellow in the in the object so I'm adding a new texture and I'm opening that and where are you where are you there you are and I'm selecting it and I'm selecting a sign so I'm assigning that yellow texture and if I go to the material you can see there is a, a texture projected and I'm happy with the size or yeah they are a bit too big so we can select it and do something like this or make it a bit smaller but yeah it will be okay it's not that big deal so now we have two different types of textures on it we can cut holes in it so we go to this side and we're adding or oh, we can close this view we're not gonna need it right now uh, we're adding a mesh and cube uh, and in order we have one two three four different types of windows so uh, let me see I'm going to the material so we have some windows below the yellow and well we have some texture <laughs> we windows in the red and the yellow so we have uh, there so I think it's something like um, yeah a bit smaller I'm not gonna make exactly the same it's just have an image of it and I'm um, Oh, I can have that duplicate that and make that a bit bigger and do it again and one more time and make that a bit smaller or remove that one and have exactly the same measurements from this one over there um, and what we can do is uh, copy these two and make them a bit smaller copy that one and for this uh, we can remove that so we have exactly the same size make that something like this and duplicate that so there is some space between it and do it one more time and control L oh shifty yeah that's right and is that what we want yeah a bit <laughs> and put him a bit in and we also want something on the sides so go to the side so scaling that up. this is a, a roof window Y S C make that small, not too big. So something like make them exactly good. And one more, and this is for the front door. And I can recommend some reference <laughs> images, or else you get some problems with the measurements. But now it's just doing it really quick. So now we have all the yeah, windows. We uh, make this maybe this is a bit too high, a bit smaller, like this. 
um, we give it a name and name is cutter because we're going to cut a hole in the house and I'm selecting these selecting object go here uh, and we go to the boolean making that difference and selecting cutter and you will see that if we apply it and remove the cubes that we have some nice holes in the building and if we go to the material we have something like this so uh, this is the first part uh, of the house and in the next one we're gonna put some windows in the in the in the house ignore the roof because uh, this is just the the roof from the original base and we're gonna put something over it so uh, see you in the next part of this tutorial